Hey guys, this is Colton P. And, um, first off, I want to talk about the picture behind me. Um, this is, I call this the crazy band. And you've got your blue, blues guy playing the clarinet. Um, this guy, I call him giraffe guy. He's kind of mixed in with the other guys a little bit. He's playing the guitar. And then this guy, I think he's singing. Because he doesn't have any instrument at all. It doesn't look like with him on him, whatever. But, um, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is I'm gonna be reviewing a gun. An air gun. It's a Daisy. Um, it's the Daisy Airstrike 240. Um, I can't find, I haven't found these recently, but when I purchased this, I got it for $16. Um, I've owned several BB guns since this one. Airsoft guns, whatever. Since this one. And, <clears throat> None of them have lasted me quite as long. Um, I like this gun because, for one, you can dunk it in water, take it out, and shoot it again. It, it's, it functions in all conditions. Um, it's a heck of a trainer gun. The magazine, it's standard for everything. Um, I like this magazine design. Let's talk about that first. So, <clears throat> I've got you've got a little chamber of BBs down here, and you've got a little clip thing. And you can pull out on that. Let BBs go into there like that. You push it back forward, and it's loaded. Um, and it's loaded. So you can have th this full and this full in an airsoft war or whatever. Um, and then you boom, 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 boom. Let's pretend you're out of ammo. You don't even have to take the mag out to reload. Just, just pull out on that. And then, boom, you've got, what, six or seven more rounds. Um, <coughs> at the time I purchased this, you could purchase, ex you could buy an extra magazine or two with it that was full of random colored BBs. Can't do that anymore. Um, I've had a jam in this one occasion in the entire time I've had it. And, um, I was able to unjam it very easily by <coughs> disassembling it. Disassembly is similar to the um, firearm that this is modeled after, the Beretta M9 or 92F variant. Um, in order to disassemble it, you've got the little button here, and then you would twist this down, then you'd pull out on it, and you'd pull out on this little thingy there, and then the slide will just come right off. <sighs> Um, and then you've got your little BB jam jumbling around in there to unjam it. You push forward, and just kind of shake it out. Um, great, um, great setup there. Putting it back together, you just do the same thing. Opposite, hold that button, and make sure that this make sure the slide is on all the way so that you can see clear through that hole. Or you put the little knob back in, and it's back together. Um, the ability to get an extra magazine <coughs> is great because you can do mag change drills and stuff. Boom, um, stuff like that. It's unloaded. Um, <coughs> um, safety features. Um, the only safety fe feature on this gun is this little flip-up safety right there. And it's pretty useless. Um, actually there's two safety features and one of them is you're better off to not have it on. Um, there's a, there's a half, there is half cock on this. In order, to, in order to achieve half cock, you have to hold that hammer back and pull the trigger. Let it slide until you feel that it's off, then you're in half cock. You have that in the safety on, you're pretty safe, right? Wrong. You can't pull the trigger. And even if you do, nothing happens. But if you tap the back of that hammer, it goes off. <coughs> so that's one bad thing about it. But this safety, it's. All it does is block the trigger. That's all. 
so it's it's not like that helpful that useful I still use it just because it's not like I had a Walther P PPS imitation um, <coughs> airsoft gun and its safety was a little twisty thingy like down in the corner of it it was ridiculous I hated that I didn't use it that's because it's a Walther PPS is striker fire and there, it didn't doesn't actually have a safety but they had to put one in there to be able to put that 16 year old age limit um, um yeah that's that's that and then the mag release is pretty standard push that button in and it drops the magazine pretty simple um the hammer actually comes back it's pretty cool it's just just for looks there's also that little thing that moves on the outside. I don't know why I mentioned that. Um, the grip screws do come out. They'll wobble out. I didn't take that out. Um, cleaning. Cleaning an airsoft gun isn't really necessary. However, with this, this one, it came with all kinds of oil and grease inside. And that got into the barrel and it caused it. It didn't jam. It just made the slide so that when I cock it, it'd be like... <laughs> and it sounded really bad so <clears throat> yeah it's the plastic six millimeter BBs standard for an airsoft gun um, that's pretty much all I have to say about it um, thank you guys this has been firearms guy 223 please hit the subscribe button and I am out